welcome to Around the Dog World. This month's programme comes from the greatest dog show in the world. This is Crufts 2014. On Around the Dog World this weekend, we see 22,000 dogs come to the NEC in Birmingham for the greatest dog show on the planet. And on Sunday night, Jack Bispam has the honour of judging Best in Show, where he will pick from seven group winners to take the biggest title in dogs, Best in Show Crufts 2014. On today's programme, we'll have highlights of every group plus Best in Show. We'll also take a look at some breed judging and all the breeds we watch have been picked by you, our viewers. And also, we'll be taking a seat at the first Poscas Award Ceremony. But before we hand out any awards, we have to start saying our goodbyes to my little friend over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to see you for a while, No, we? no, you're not. Um, just taking a little bit of the summer off so that I can spend a bit more time with the family, basically. But we might see you throughout the year? Yeah, yeah, you might do, actually. I'm showing a few dogs this year, so it might end up possibly in the group. Hope, here's hoping. <laughs> On the other side of the camera? Yeah, that's right, maybe. <laughs> well, best of luck, and uh, please take this link. Thank you very much. Well, so our first stop today is the Poscas 2014 event, held the night before Crufts, where winners in 14 dog-related categories were voted for by the public. So let's head over to the hosts for the night, Jessica Home, and the one that, well, looks strangely familiar. It's time to begin with the first two Posca Award categories of the night. First up, we have the Trade Stand of the Year, sponsored by Foss Data. And the winner is Dorwest Herbs. Terry Donovan. Lisa Croft Elliot. Tim Hutchins. Steven Seymour. Windsor Championship Show. Will Cox. John Avers. scheduled Oscar awards. Firstly, the award for Breeder of the Year. We're looking for those who consistently produce dogs of top quality. Um, and this year has probably been their best year ever. Huge respect for Michael Gadsby. He's a dog man through and through. He's an extremely clever breeder. It goes without saying, Zena is Breeder of the Year. She's a breeder of, of dogs. D did I not read that Zena has now won 800 cc's? mind-blowing isn't it to the average exhibitor that dreams of winning three they've achieved a remarkable level of success Chris and Pete Sanderford along with Claire Lewis have really taken this breed in, into the spotlight I gave them best in show at Southern Counties and they've got a youngster coming through equally as good they have developed an instantly recognizable kennel type <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Breeder of the Year is Drexley. <laughs> Drexley. I must say that. Yeah, you need to say oh. that. Drexley. And I think she's also one of the judges that really likes dogs. When you watch a judge, you can see that she really enjoys every moment of it. And she's got such a breadth of knowledge across all seven groups. A young judge who has had a lot of experience with a big kennel 
and that he seems to relate in the method in which and how he judges. Well, he's got a lifetime's experience in dogs, Derek, and he's been involved with so many top-class dogs himself. Great judge, appreciated, I think, by an awful lot of people. But I've known Ken Sinclair around for years and years and years, and he's had some beautiful dogs. Um, enjoys his judging, and he's always got a smile on his face when he's judging. And the winner is, what a delight, Liz Cartledge. Well, most of you will know that I don't make speeches, ever. But tonight is a bit special. I love dogs. I love judging. And I quite like people, especially all those that have voted for me. So thank you. He scares me to death, and I, th I think the, the dogs really know he's his boss. Dave Kelly is somebody who I actually want to be because not only is he cool, manly, <laughs> manly, absolutely, he's got more hair than me. No, I'm joking aside, <laughs> I wanted Nikita when I was a little lad and realised they were too strong for me. 30 odd years later, they're still too strong <laughs> for me. Lovely family man, loves his grandkids and he doesn't get come over as that. You think he's sort of gruff exterior, but he's, as I say, he's a big pooter cat inside. You and I'm, a lot, I'm an old lady, I've seen a lot of dog shows, I don't ever remember that happening before. But it was such a clean sweep, wasn't it? I mean, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me the greatest pleasure to present this award to Outstanding Achievement 2013 for breeding, handling, best in show, reserve best in show and best puppy in show at Southern Counties this year to Mr Dave Killerley. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody and what a humbling thing it is to stand up here amongst some great people. Many thanks. She's utterly fair and gives every dog a chance, makes everybody and their dog feel comfortable. Um, but she'll also tell you straight and be really honest with you if there was something that she wasn't quite sure about. And dedicated so much time of her own time to people who are the future of dogs. She is an unsung hero for anybody who's been in dogs since they were a child. She is the epitome of junior handling, she is the epitome of education. She really is an unsung hero. So I'm delighted to present the Unsung Hero Award to the lady that has done and does so much for our junior handlers, and that would be Liz Cartledge. Well, I think I am speechless now. <laughs> Not usually, but tonight, yes. One was a, a big thrill. This one is a bigger thrill, perhaps, for me, because we go back a long way, all these kids. You were one, she was one. There's several in the, in the audience here with children of their own. And, well, it gives me a lot of pleasure to do what I do. So thank you again. The Pedigree Dog Show world has gone through some tough times in the last few years and sometimes we haven't been quick enough to defend this wonderful sport. All of us in this room try our very best to produce happy, healthy examples of our pedigree breeds, spending many hours and many pounds in doing so. So now is your chance to keep the doubters and sceptics quiet by continuing the good, the goodwill we all know we are capable of. Welcome to the Peekaboo Trust. Absolutely, yeah. this is a sort of combination of all the hard work that everybody put into um, Jilly Jolly John and uh, we're here today to give the money to the three charities. So um, the grand total is £49,000. So uh, yeah, really, really good. And I'm, I know for a fact that it'll be put to good use. 
Um, so as a hospital, we rely on the generous donations of the public to ensure that we can continue to treat and to care for some of the smallest and sickest children in the UK. And each year we see 200,000 patient visits um, and a donation of that, that size is phenomenal. We've just had a tour around Great Ormond Street Hospital and it was quite emotional. You knew what the money was going towards, but after seeing the, the struggle that families go through, how do you feel now? I don't think we realise the scale of this place. I think we know, we know it's big, but you have no idea really of the amount of people that are here. And So it's amazing to be able to see where it's actually going. And Gavin, being a father yourself, that must have been tough wandering through those wards. Yeah, it's actually quite emotional to be honest. It makes you more grateful and thankful that you know, I've got two happy, healthy kids at home. But I think probably more so kids have been well looked after obviously. But it's the families and the siblings that have they've got to deal with it on a daily basis. So I mean, they've shown us around and we've been in the chapel, which was just leaves a lump on your throat. It actually makes it so gratifying that we've raised that sort of money and you can see what's going to happen with it. We can, yeah, we all know what the hospital does, etc. But when you know you're here, really humbling, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. A perfect sort of closure to the the whole event. I'd just like to thank uh, Amelia Siddle, who sadly can't be here tonight, for helping me so much on that walk. Without her, it would have been even tougher, so thank you, Amelia. The aim, of the, the aim of the Trust is to raise money for children and dog charities. Tonight is a prime example where all the profits of the evening will go into this Trust. The events may be small and local, but every penny will be distributed to worthy causes. I fulfilled a boyhood dream last year, and on Sunday night it will be someone else who can live the dream. However, however, none of this would be, have been possible without friends like you, an amazing wife and children. They put up with hours of me planning or doing something like this and the jaunt. So enjoy the rest of the evening, everybody. And every penny we raise tonight will go to a good trust. Thank you. Welcome back to the most famous dog show in the world, where we start with a breed picked by Hayden Featham. This is the Portuguese water dog. Joining us ringside is Andrew Brace. Thank you for joining us again, Andrew. We're down at the Portuguese water dog ring, uh, where Zena Thorne Andrews, our judge, is uh, going over for best of breed, the, the dog CC and bitch CC winner. Yeah, <clears throat> interesting male, this, uh, bred in America. He's travelled from Norway with a handler, you call Kabeda, who originally is from Peru, but he's been well, living in well Scandinavia. <laughs> he's, yes, he's been living in Scandinavia for a few years. And of course, potentially, this ring could have seen a very exciting clash of the titans had one of the dogs entered turned up, namely the dog who was the group winner at Westminster in the USA earlier. But for some reason, Matisse didn't show up. So our American dog from Norway, <laughs> He took the dog tickets, and now the bitch, I believe, is Belleville bitch. Yes. And didn't didn't Kathy and Ed? I think they bred both reserve CC winners as well, as, as, well the as the bitch CC winner. Yeah. And what is she called, the bitch CC winner? Uh, she is Belleville La Danoite. Loire Danoite. And I I think I'm right in saying I'll have to check in the catalogue, but I think all three of those are actually litter mates. Fantastic. So they've had a great day, and of course Kathy is far more successful or better known I should say for her, her Belleville Norfolk Terriers yes hugely successful we, we've seen her in around the dog world several times in, in, uh, yeah. in the terrier group Zena, uh, so Zena Thorne Andrews sending them around again the and there we are the best the of wins. breeds to the American dog Robo Alexander the Great Aquitas yeah, best of breed he's a, he's a champ I've seen him winning best in shows in, in, in various Scandinavian countries but more and more we are seeing top quality overseas dogs coming into crafts because still the show has a prestige well thank you very much andrew and we'll catch you a little later on uh, by the gsd ring i look forward to that
So, thanks very much for joining us, Andrew. This is obviously Prince Michael of Kent visiting the GSD ring on Thursday. Yeah, I'm not sure um, how many people knew that this was planned, but um, just at the end of Open Dock, um, where we saw Elmo winning uh, yet again, Prince Michael and his royal entourage arrived with various Cannon Club dignitaries, and they can be seen now in the ring making a big fuss of Elmo. And of course, he's been such a fabulous ambassador for the breed, this dog, not just because of his great good looks and his closeness to the breed standard, because he's got this wonderful temperament. So after an exciting morning with Elmo, he won the dog ticket. Um, the bitch ticket was Peter Well Camilla, owned by Adamson, Jackson and Munn. Um, that came from Limit Bitch. And now we've got best of breed with the two top dogs. Yeah, and obviously German Shepherd judges pay a lot of attention uh, to profile movement. And German Shepherds have traditionally been moved more extensively than the other breeds that we tend to watch. Um, particularly going around the ring because the theory is that the German Shepherd needs plenty of space and plen plenty of time to actually get into its stride so the movement can be appreciated and now we can see these two going up and down um, basically the judge is just looking just to see how parallel they are on the out and back and certainly in Elmo's case I mean this is a breed let's be honest they do not all have the most wonderful hindquarters but Elmo has proved himself time and time again and being a wonderful mover up, down and around. And um, obviously the, the, the judge who's Di Sterling, she's really making them work. And I have to say, we've been here, we've seen Elmo now four times at Crufts. Um, I've never seen him as settled. You know, he's, he's now seven years old, Marina. Yeah, he's a veteran dog. Um, and I have to say also, I don't think I've ever seen Steve Cox so calm because he can be a little, little bit oh, excitable. Oh, and he gets best of breed. And that's the fourth best of breed uh, that's Elmo's, that's Elmo's fourth best to breed win at this show. Um, I mean, you know, there have been rumours about him retiring in the past, but like Frank Sinatra, he keeps on popping out. I mean, he's in great form, you know, and he's always a good contender. And, you know, people who criticise German dogs for having banana backs and roach top legs, look at that dog standing beautifully naturally, standing free on his four legs. He looks wonderful. He's gone for the Rottweiler. It's the Rotty. And the Portuguese water dog takes group two. And coming right up for the Alaska Malamute for group three. And as you guys to collect my new fee. Yes, he is. Good man, Frank. Well done. And the winner is there. That is the Rottweiler. Congratulations, Robert. And how does it sound? Crafts group winner. It ain't sunk in yet, mate. I'll have bothered about winning my class. And then worry about doing well in the, the challenge, yeah. win that. And then worry about going up against some more good dogs. And we've done it. Uh, it is amazing. It's once in a lifetime. Um, and what's the trick to, to getting a, a dog like Brandon ready for the show ring? There's no trick. There's no trick. He's got, he's got passion, he's got desire. He's a super dog. Last year we showed him about 15, 16 times. Five tickets, a couple of best of breeds, a couple of reserve best in shows, a couple of reserve tickets. Uh, and then on Amsterdam, we did the double, Fantastic. which wow. there's no other rock violin I've ever done. Amazing. It's not just about the exhibiting, it's about the travelling, it's about keeping your dog fresh, it's about toileting, it's about food, nutrition, exercise and rest. And it's, it's a hard slog, yeah. but uh, yeah, we've done good today. Oh, Frank! The winner is the Samoyed, taking the pastoral group for 2014. And, and she's saying, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, she's saying, but it's beautiful, beautiful, the, the, the bearded collie. The German Excellent. Shepherd takes group three, and in fourth place, it's the little Pooley. So there's the winner of our pastoral group for 2014, champion Nikara Diamond Dancer, Dan the Man, Sue, many congratulations. You've just won Pastoral Group winner at Crufts 2014 with Dan the Man. <laughs> now, just talk us through those final few moments because I think everyone could see from the camera work there that you were sort of muttering as the judge came towards you. What was going through your mind? I thought she was going to the dog behind me. I could see her out the corner of my eye coming towards because the colour she was wearing. And then all of a sudden I realised, no, she was coming to me. And I'm going, 
I can't believe this. Is it me? Is it going to be me? I think it is going to be me. I don't believe this. <laughs> All the silly things you do put through your mind. <laughs> I thought it was a strong group but it sort of ticked all the boxes mm. um, the movement was so good I mean the movement on all my short list you know they really really cover the ground and move like their breed should mm. and just tell us a little bit about um, Dan because he's not new to the the top winners is he no I mean he, he loves the big ring and he loves going around that big carpet the space he just revels in it and he's been uh, best in show twice before. Do you think you could go all the way at Crufts? No, I'm not going to set my hopes that high, to be quite honest. But I'll give it a good shot. <laughs> and this summer, Ed, we've seen winning a couple of best in shows already. Do you think Sunday night might be another one? You can never tell. You can never tell. So much, you know, sort of depends. It's got to be the dog of the moment, the dog that the best in show judge takes his eye and thinks that's the one for me. He clearly took your eyes, so fingers crossed for Sunday night. Fingers crossed for Sunday night. Welcome back to Around the Dog World at Crufts 2014. Hundreds of you have been voting for the following breed, so let's head over to Hall 2 to see Staffordshire Bull Terriers. So here we are, Andrew, just about the busiest ringside of the whole weekend. Yeah, I mean Staffordshire Bull Terriers, hugely popular breed, always high entries. And because they have such large entries, the dogs are judged by one judge, the bitches by another, and they come together. Yeah, no one judge could handle the kind of entry for, for both sexes. On the right-hand side, we can see Mr Pugh, the dog judge, going over the bitch, because he's obviously judged the dog before. And on the left, we see Mr Clark, judge of the bitches, going over the dog. We've got two champions, I think. Uh, the yes. bitch is, is champion Devil's Angel. And the dog champion, Irish champion, Zach Staff, what's the story? And an interesting background, because he was the dog CC winner last year. Yeah, there was great controversy last year. Those of us who watch Best of Breed were of the opinion that the bitch wasn't sound when she moved, and yet she still managed to win Best of Breed. But, you know, now the dog is back. And I would imagine, for a variety of different reasons, it's probably got a lot of ringside support this year. They've both judged both dogs now. Is it a case of having to convince the other judge yours no, is better? No, not, not, not at all. When you're in that situation, um, you explain what you like about your dog. Your co-judge will explain what they like about their dog. There may be some discussion. And in that situation, obviously, you call on the referee. That's what they're there for. I have a feeling maybe these two guys will sort it out amongst themselves. There's a lot of prefer. nodding in the background, so perhaps they have to come to some sort of agreement. Yeah, yeah. Best of breeders in the hands of Mr. Clark, the bitch judge. It's the dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, best well, of there's, breed. There, there's some kind of um, vindication there for last year, isn't there, Simon? Because uh, I think a lot of people felt very badly for the dog. Dog CC winner twice in a row and now best of breed at Crufts 2014. Champion, Irish champion Zach Staff, what's the story? And we go to another numerically strong breed today in Whippets. So we've been joined now by the referee who is Michael Quinney and we're seeing the, the Dog CC winner, Shalfleet Simply Allure. This was uh, top hound last year. You know, we've, we've mentioned the Shalfleet kennel on several occasions in around the dog world because, of course, he had a great year last year and he's obviously now kicked off 2014 very well. There were uh, 197 dogs he had to beat. Um, Big entries in Whippets. Always do, don't yeah. they? I mean, it's an incredible achievement to even win a class, actually, in Absolutely, that Absolutely, and lots of foreign dogs. I was away somewhere the other week and uh, no end of people were saying that they were actually bringing whippets to show at Crufts this year. Yeah. So a very cosmopolitan entry and here's the, here's the bitch from Holland. So obviously um, the judge of bitches felt that her bitch should have been best to breed. The judge of dogs felt that his dog should have been best to breed. So it's, it's down to Michael to make the decision. Yeah, and it was interesting actually, the reserve dog ticket to Shalfleet Simply a Lord was actually a puppy, which is an incredible achievement. Well, you know, I mean, as you know, I'm, it's not unknown for me to give a puppy a CC, but that is one hell of a big entry um, for puppies to, to do that well. So that must have been a really exciting puppy. And it's gone to the dog. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's his second best of breed in a row. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's continuing his role. Yeah. And very, very sporting of uh, William there. So now we're off to the main ring, Andrew, to see some of these dogs in action. First, though, to the Terrier group. Yeah, and that's going to be an exciting one. It always is.
Oh, Frank, spot on. It's the Wire Fox Terrier takes the group. Yes. King champion King Arthur Van Funky Home takes the group. The That's Staffy into second. Yes. And the Celium getting third place in the group. We got that the wrong way around. Celium in second, Staffy in third, and that gorgeous Irish Terrier takes group four. King is king of the day today. Warren Bradley, Terrier group win at Crafts. How does that feel? Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was a great honour to win the, group of terrier, the terrier group of Crafts, yeah. uh, especially under a White Fox Terrier man. Yeah. It was an unbelievable experience. And it must feel like uh, a group win earlier on in the day in the Wire Fox Terrier ring. Oliver, the Wire Fox Terrier, 10 best in shows to his name, reserve top dog last year, and you beat him in open dog. That must have been pretty special already today. Yeah, that was like a best in show win <laughs> at, the, at the beginning of the day. Um, and you, you go one step further, as you say, under a Wire Fox Terrier man. What is it that King's got that grabs the eye of the judge? Uh, King has a, a lot of breed type, and uh, he's a great show dog. And he's won it all under uh, specialist Fox Terrier people. Fantastic. And he's, uh, he's foreign owned as well, isn't he? Yes, he comes from Belgium. He's been okay. with me for just over a year now. Right. Well, fantastic. Um, and best of luck for Best in Show on Sunday. Thank you. Goodness me. <laughs> it's the Irish Wolfhound. <laughs> Irish Wolfhound, very impressive on the move. All the way from Netherlands, a big winner there. Standard long hair in second place. Rhodesians in third place. And also the Whippet in fourth. Glorious Irish Wolfhound, three-year-old James. So the Hound Group winner in 2014 at Crafts was James. Thank you very much for joining us, Gary. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here, of course, seeing the results. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I understand this is uh, a bit of a swan song. This is final show, is it? Well, it's a final show. Uh, I mean, the dog is three years old, but he has done all his winning so far, and there is no nothing else. Yeah. So Crufts was indeed the place to be to, to end his career. I thought it was a very impressive group. Nothing makes them look more spectacular than the green carpet and all the lighting yeah. and the atmosphere. There's nowhere else in the world that can create the cross stars at that time when you're in there. And that isn't really the point. And what other sort of winning has, has James done on the continent? Well, he did, I think, a lot of winnings. <laughs> yeah, he won Amsterdam, he won Brussels, he won... Actually, I think he's, a, he's a German champion. Luxembourg, international. Belgium? Belgium champion, jun <laughs> junior world winner, wow, okay. double Amsterdam winner. Amsterdam is in, in Holland the, the, the biggest show, he yeah. won it twice. He <laughs> won all the club shows, in right. international club shows, best in shows, group wins. I mean, yeah, okay, he's, he's kind of a, a star, but most of all he's our dog, he's sweet, he's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big cuddly bear. <laughs> Welcome back to Around the Dog World. It's day three of Crafts. Today is utility and toy breeds, and the first breed we go and watch is a must. It's the standard poodles. So here we are, the first ringside of uh, day three of Crafts 2014. The standard poodle ring and a rather exciting dog CC we see in front of us. Andrew? Yeah, don't those, those two look a picture? I mean, yeah. the Ricky, is there with Jason Lynn, looking amazing. Um, this, this dog, we've talked about him so many times over the past 12 months. He is the ultimate show dog. I mean, a, a seasoned performer. Already, Sensible, already giving the judge the calm. eyes. I mean, look at, look at him, and, and Jason never, ever flaps. I mean, so calm, so cool, so collected. And the way he does that free stack is amazing. And then we've got a beautiful bitch there with Marisa Rogers, who year, uh, years ago has actually won Best in Show at Crafts, once with a standard poodle and once with an Afghan hound. Albert White is savouring this moment, and he's to a little to a little extent. I suspect he's going to play. He's going to play to the crowd a little and, bit and tease them. And you, you can hear that. There's a bit of and, stirring uh, now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I imagine he's going to get these two into the middle of the ring and really savour the moment because. There's a huge ringside. Obviously, Ricky is one of the dogs that is being talked about uh, for a potential best in show winner. Um, he won the, the Yukonuba World Challenge, as you know, in uh, Orlando, in Florida. 
And it um, is getting rather tense now. We've he got was the dog best of, of the year last year. He's still a young dog. He is best of breed. Crafts. No, Albert didn't mess about. 2014. Best, best of breed was the male. And, and I mean, well, you know, well deserved. I know people sometimes say that judges' decisions are maybe a little predictable. There is nothing more criminal than robbing a great dog when it's on form. And, and Albert has given this dog his just desserts today. Champion, American champion, Afterglow Maverick Sabre, best of breed at Crufts 2014. We'll be seeing him in the group later. Yes, and all eyes will be on Ricky, I think, when Ken Sinclair is judging the utility group. I think... Um, there's Standard without... Poodle, not messing about. Straight in there, Ricky, this two-and-a-half-year-old dog. Owned by Jason Wynn and John and Sandra Stone from West Lancashire. And in second place, Dave Killerley with the Akita oh, Red Witch Will I Am. The Kazond, another one which gave a very good performance and a lovely example. And the Bulldog of the taking Group 4, UK and US champion, Afterglow Maverick Sabre. Jason, many congratulations. Thank you. Ricky does it again. He performs in the big ring, and there we go, another group win. Yeah, fantastic. And this, I mean, what a group, Crufts. So it was absolutely thrilling to be in there. He's had a massive amount of support, it seems, on Facebook, and there's all these little um, bands that people are wearing. What's all those about? Yeah, our, our friends from Canada, Alison and Todd, um, they surprised us with these bands that say uh, Team Ricky. Uh, so we've been passing them out to friends, and it's just sort of a funny little thing that we've done. So uh, I'm not knocking it, because maybe, maybe it helps somehow. Absolutely. <laughs> now, we saw actually him in the breed earlier, and I, I often see him in the group ring, but actually not amongst the other breed competition. Mm. And it was really interesting because he, he really seems like a bit of a standout at the moment. Yeah, he's right now he's just blossoming into something that's just beyond our wildest dreams. His body, his coat, his movement, everything's sort of coming together at one time. And he put on such a great show in the breed today. I was so proud of him. And he, he's a dog that just about everyone in the breed is really supportive of and that's that's been great for us as well because we've had a lot of people rooting for us behind the scenes and his daughter did well too yeah she did she's only been to a few shows um, she was a junior bitch here today and uh, she won the reserve CC so wonderful wonderful fantastic and I understand this is possibly the last UK show he might be shown at yeah we decided a after last year when he ended up top dog we sort of thought well there's nothing more he can do in the UK and um, we decided it would be Crufts so he's not been shown here since uh, Buba in December, and um, this is this is it. There was a lot of pressure on you to do the deed in <laughs> on Sunday, I suppose, that yeah. you're going to pull out all the stops as you know the handler that you are. Well, for us, the the pressure was just best of breed because obviously that's the first step to go anywhere, and it's wonderful that he's won. But in best in show, I mean, there's so many great dogs that have already gone through. The competition will be outstanding, and anything we do in there will be a bonus. But the, for me, the pressure's over. It's now I, I'm going to enjoy every minute because I may never have a chance to be in the Crufts best in show ring again. It's the little Jaffa orange on legs. The little Pomeranian Co takes the toy group for 2014. Colin, Colin wins the toy group. Second place goes to Scotland, up to Moffat in Scotland with Bertie's. There's the Bichon, a great day. First CC today and third in the group. And that lovely Yorkshire Terrier going into group four. Unbeaten Premiera, Colin takes the toy group so Colin Farrell wins the sixth group at Crufts. Congratulations, Borgena. A great win. Yes, it's very, very big win. I'm very, very happy. And this is my first experience at Crufts. You, you've clearly not come from, from nearby. Where, where is it you've travelled from today? I come from Poland. Right. From Warsaw, near Warsaw. Um, and has Colin done any winning before? Yes, he's double European winner, wow. and he's uh, Vice Junior World winner, multi Best in Show winner, multi Group winner, wow. <laughs> and now Toy Group winner at Crafts. It's it's very big win, really. It's bigger win than the European <laughs> winner. <laughs> yes. And have you got to change your travel plans now? Or were you meant to be going back no, home I tonight? Stay uh, till Monday. Okay. So tomorrow I have day off. Well. Till <laughs> evening <laughs> yeah. for best in show. Well, best of luck, um, and we'll see yourself and Colin tomorrow night. Yes, thank you very much.
Welcome back to day four of Crufts 2014. Today is Gun Dog Day, but I'm joined by Andrew Brace, our expert over the four days. And first of all, can we just look back at our six group winners so far, starting with the working group from uh, day one with the Rottweiler taking the top spot? Yeah, that was that was quite a surprise, I think. That, uh, Frank Kane judged the working group, and of course, Frank is one of our most conscientious judges, and um, you know he will have found a lot to like in this dog, obviously. And then we had the pastoral group winner, which was the Samoyed, which uh, I know you've done well before. Um, the Samoyed won a group under me under Belfast, yeah, certainly, and, and it was a tough group, you know. I mean, the, the Elmo was in there for the fourth time. Yeah, that's right, and, fourth uh, time. And his fan club, obviously, were rooting for him, look, looking good. Yeah, the Sam, he's, he's a good dog, he's a very good moving dog. On to the next day, day two was Terriers and Hounds. Mm -hmm. The Terrier group winner was the Wire Fox, but not one that we've seen before take a group. No, but um, he's beaten the Travella dog before, and um, he's a dog that's very much on form. I watch best to breed in, in Warriors. This dog's presentation was immaculate, and he, he, he put on a good show. He's a hell of a good dog. And uh, the second group of the day was the Hounds, and another Belgium winner, actually. We had the Irish Wolfhounds, which is the largest breed out of yeah. all the breeds as well, yeah. so taking the top spot. Yeah, and um, <coughs> Irish Wolfhounds have won well before at Crufts. Um, this was a new one to many people. Um, big, big dog in a big ring. And last night we had the utility group w winner, which was Afterglow uh, Maverick Sabre. Ricky, Ricky uh, to all his fans. A, a flawless performance yet, yet again. And then and the toy group winner was a Pomeranian from Poland, I believe. From Poland, but it's sired by a dog that actually comes from Thailand. Maybe a little over trimmed for some of our tastes <laughs> but a great moving little dog with an exquisite headpiece and, and absolutely spot on for Pomeranian type. Well thank you very much Andrew, we might see a little bit more of you later. I'm sure. But now let's head down to the breed rings here at Crufts. Down on the main floor is where it all happens and let's go and take a look at some of the breeds in the gun dog group. There were 143 Weimaraners here at Crufts this year Andrew and we actually had two dogs here that were bred by Patsy Hollings, the Gunnolt Kennel, took the top two spots. Yeah, you know, Jackie Ward was judging. She herself has, has she's shown Gunnolt dogs, so she likes that type. And two Gunnolts heading the line up at Crufts, certainly not for the first time, and definitely not for the last, I'm sure. We've got, uh, the dog was show champion Gunnolt Distinction, and the bitch is uh, show champion Gunnolt Socialize as well. I think we're going to see them on the move here. Mm -hmm. And Jackie will be looking for good profile movement, you know, and in this, in this breed, you know, colour is, is quite important. And uh, particularly breed judges, they are very, very keen to make sure that they get absolutely the right shade of grey. So here's the bitch moving. She obviously just comes straight from the bitch challenge, taking the ticket there. And I think one of the reserve CCs was a Gunnold veteran. It was, also, yes, so. yeah, handled by David Alcorn, Ab actually. Absolutely a, a Gunnold day. So which one is she going to choose for best of breed? Hopefully the better one. Absolutely. And of course, the winner will go through to the Gundog group, which will be judged later. It's going to the bit. Show champion Gunnold Socialite at Teliara. Wins best of breed at Crafts 2014 under Jackie Ward. So, are we off to the gun dog group? I think so. And best in show later. Oh, absolutely. We can't Don't forget that. best in show. No. We're ready to find out who's going to win the gun dog group for 2014. The American Cocker. It's two for the Afterglow Kennel in the finals for Best in Show judging tonight. What an extraordinary achievement that is. And here comes the Golden Retriever into second place. Yes, yeah, a beautiful bitch, lovely. Black coated Retriever going to third. And the Irish setter comes out into reserve. There's our winner. We have our last finalist for Best in Show tonight. Show champion Afterglow Pearls, a singer. From the working group, the Rob Byler, sent here to the final by Judge Frank Kane. And here it comes, the winner of the pastoral group also on Thursday, the winner of the terrier group. It's a lovely wirehead fox terrier, judged in the group on Friday by Gerald Morris. He's an absolute giant, 
the winner of the Hound Group, also on Friday, Michael Quinney's choice there, the Irish Wolfhound. The spectacular standard poodle from the utility group, the second group judged on Friday by Ken Sinclair. But the winner of the toy group, this tiny little Pomeranian, sent here by Runny Store Willis. This wonderful American Cocker Spaniel sent here by Penny Williams from today's Gun Dog Group. Last walk down the line, tense moments here. Wonderful moment for Jack Bisfam. It's the Poodle, he's going for it. It's the standard Poodle. Crown's top dog of the year and Scruff's best in show winner too. And what a fantastic achievement for this kennel to have two in the final and take best in show at Cruft with a dog who has surely done just about everything that it's possible to do in the show ring. And it's the just... winner of the pastoral group, <coughs> the Sammy Ed. <laughs> that was so sweet. Dan Quickly shoving the treat away <laughs> so I can shake Dan your hand. Down the Samoy <laughs> takes reserve best in show. Well, with such a spectacular lineup, well, that is marvellous. Best in show at Crufts 2014, Ricky, champion, American champion, Afterglow, Maverick Sabre. Mike and Jason, what a night for you. A absolutely fantastic. Uh, not only with Ricky, of course, but Pearl as well on the yeah. same night. So, un unbelievable. And that must be history. We can't think of another time that a kennel has topped two groups, two send gold vases you go home with, plus the, the big well, crown. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it was, they're both the dogs have retired tonight. So the fact that they retired with two group winners, I mean, it was just incredible, you know. So we've, like, humbled and very proud, seriously. You know, that's not an emotion I have very often, but <laughs> that's what I feel right now. Can you put into words the feeling when you were going around that, that big ring tonight? Well, it, it was funny because I think everything sort of, you block everything out and it's just sort of you and your dog and you're focused on the dog 100%. So you sort of don't feel everything else going on, the noise outside the ring. Um, but no, I mean, taking him around, the, the rush I got out of it was amazing. <laughs> and you even went around an extra time. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was caught up in the moment. <laughs> He, he certainly looked fabulous. He, he's now retired. You've now got two reserve best in shows and a best in show to your name at Crafts. Can you wish for anything more? You know, there was just one slight, like, <laughs> one thing we missed out on. But I mean, listen, I, we love it. Yeah, we well, <laughs> and we love this, uh, the Samoyed, so I mean, it was great. It was really great. And, um, and I, I think for us as well, it's the, the process. It's not necessarily, you know, we're, we're just as excited about, you know, the next Ricky's kids coming up, so yeah. you know that's what we have to look forward to. I'm so. sure everyone in the utility group and the standard poodle ring is not particularly happy to see that yeah. his daughter was winning this weekend as well. Yeah, yeah, she got the reserve ticket. We we're really proud of her. Really proud. Alison, who's helped us all week, has been. Uh, she showed her, and so she got a buzz yeah. out of that too. So it was, it was terrific, absolutely terrific. We got some great youngsters coming up. So it's all about what's coming up. Well, best of luck. I'm sure we'll see you again in 2014. Congratulations. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Jack Bispham, Crufts yeah. Best in Show Judge 2014. Give us your thoughts on Ricky the Standard Poodle. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank the Kennel Club for the invitation to judge this event, which, in my opinion, is the greatest dog show in the world. Yeah. I thought I had seven really good quality dogs coming under me, and I thank the, the group judges for sending such good dogs through. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there's only one dog can win. <laughs> and when I stood back and looked across, and I looked at all the seven, and in my opinion, the Sandy Poodle had done nothing wrong. Mm. And that's why I got the top spot. Yeah. And you've clearly liked the Afterglow Poodles before. You, you gave one of them best in show a few years ago. I believe, yeah, I, I did. About two and a half years ago, I gave it his father, his yep. It took a best in show at Birmingham City and I've been told tonight, which I didn't know, I'd forgot, uh, by the owners of the Poodle, yes. as I gave the grandfather a best in show as well, uh, as well. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, the, the dog just reacted so naturally to its handler yeah. and uh, 
He did everything right, and that's why he won. Uh, and your Samoyed, reserve best in show, a little Lovely bit. Lovely dog. I love that Samoyed, yeah. A gorgeous dog. I've always liked the breed, and I just thought the Poodle pulled the final stops out in the end. And in, in fact, that was a reverse of City of Birmingham last year. Uh, best in show and reserve was the other way around. that tonight, but I didn't know, yeah. Because yeah. I had a, a year and a half out of the dog game through illness, but I mean, uh, there you go. Well, hope you enjoyed your appointments. Very much so. I mean, they always say Crofts are the once in a lifetime, which it is doing best in show I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> I'll never forget the hospitality I've received and uh, all the buzz and excitement. Absolutely fabulous, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.